Now in this series, elements at the top of the series will be will be most reactive and that means most reactive means that they will be able to displace all the elements from their salt solutions which are lying below them in the series so on the top comes potassium after potassium comes sodium sodium then calcium then magnesium then we have zinc then we have aluminium then we have iron iron after iron we have copper after copper we have hydrogen and then we have your gold and silver first silver then gold and then platinum so it means that potassium can displace all these metals from their salt solution all right so we were talking about our reactivity series and this series it or it arranges metals in descending order of their reactivity that is in it arranges these metals in descending order of the reactivity means that if x is higher than y in the series that means x can displace a salt of y x can displace y from a salt of y that means now this re in this reactivity series sodium is higher than calcium so what it means is that sodium if it reacts with a calcium salt like calcium sulfate it will knock out this calcium and take the place in the salt that is it will become sodium sulfate and you'll get calcium and the balanced reaction will be this so in this reactivity series each and every metal is arranged but we need some very common metals so our reactivity series is shortened the series is such on the top is potassium then you have sodium it means that potassium can displace all the metals below it from their salt solutions and it will make the potassium salt solution and it will knock out these metals after that you have calcium you then you have magnesium then you have then you have aluminium then zinc then iron lead hydrogen copper then you have mercury silver and gold let me write it in a better way or let us write it like this so potassium is greater than sodium is greater than calcium is greater than magnesium is greater than aluminium zinc iron lead 
हाइड्रोजन कॉपर मर्क्यूरी सिल्वर एंड देन गोल्ड दिस इज अर रिएक्टिविटी सीरीज ऑफ कंसर्न एक्चुअली द सीरीज इज मच लॉन्गर देन दिस बिकॉज यू हैव मोर मेटल्स बट टिल नाउ वी लिमिट आर सेल्फ टू दिस सीरीज सो यू सी दैट पोटेशियम इज हायर देन ऑल दीज एलिमेंट इट इज एक्चुअली द हाइएस्ट एलिमेंट ऑफ द रिएक्टिविटी सीरीज इट मीन्स दैट इट इज मोस्ट रिएक्टिव दैट इज पोटेशियम विल बी एबल टू डिस्प्लेस एनी सपोज देर इज अ मेटल सॉल्ट and it will be able to displace any metal out of these and make the potassium salt the corresponding potassium salt and the metal will be knocked out so for this any of these metals can suffice this equation and we have on the other hand gold which is least reactive that is gold plus any metal salt will give you no reaction because any element any arbitrary uh, metal such as zinc if you take zinc it means that zinc can displace iron lead hydrogen copper mercury silver gold from the salt solutions but it cannot displace aluminium magnesium calcium sodium and potassium from their salt solutions uh and a metal in a reactivity series can only displace the metals lying lower than it in the reactivity series not higher than the and if you try to uh, react uh, try to react zinc and an aluminium salt you will have no reaction so this you know it also means that potassium if there is a potassium salt suppose k2so4 then no element out of all these elements no metal out of these metals can displace potassium from its salt solution and on the other hand if we take the gold side it means that all these from potassium to silver can displace this gold salts you generally don't have gold salts as such because gold is so le less reactive that it does not form salts but still for the for saying we say that all the elements can displace gold from their from its salt solution 